about six years ago when we first started looking at uh, an opportunity to build an LNG facility here on Curtis Island, uh, you know, one of the first things we had to do was to find a place to build it. So now we have a facility that will accommodate four LNG trains. We're building two of those trains today. We've built two LNG storage tanks, 160,000 cubic meters each. We've built a facility to load the ships, and we've got a big ground flare over there. When the gas arrives on the island, the process is actually pretty simple. We have to remove the contaminants from the gas, so we have to get the CO2, the water, and any other contaminants that happen to be in the gas out before we get into the chilling process. Once we get the contaminants out, the gas enters into the optimized cascade process and we start chilling the gas. Once the gas becomes liquid, we pump it down to the storage tanks and then from there, it's ready to go to the ship. The optimized cascade process uses three refrigerants, propane, ethylene, and methane. The gas enters the propane process first, where we begin to cool it. The gas is fully liquid when it comes out of the ethylene cycle, and it's about minus 100 degrees C, and then it's further cooled and the pressure reduced in the methane process, and it's about minus 161 C when it comes out of the methane cycle. ConocoPhillips has a, a pretty unique relationship with, with Bechtel because of our optimized cascade process, and I think our project team has had a really good relationship with Bechtel, and we've worked really well together. When we were looking at options for how to construct this facility on the island, we recognized that there were some logistical challenges being on the island and also being in the hot Australian labor market. So we began to look at modules as an option. We wound up with a, with a module yard in Indonesia, so the backbone of the plant, the big pipe racks, and a couple of the process modules were actually constructed in Indonesia. So everything you see out here on the island came over on a barge or on a boat. All the people had to come over on a ferry. So when we were running at peak, about 4,000 people, we were bringing 1,000 people every day on the ferry. Safety is certainly one of ConocoPhillips' core values, and I think also for Bechtel. And, and we've, we've worked really hard to, to make this job site as safe as possible and, and to ensure that people go home safely every day. We've had some pretty good experiences and we've had some challenges. We did have a run over 10 million man hours without a lost time injury on a job site with 4,000 people, and I think that's an incredible achievement. So seeing this first cargo go away from APLNG, that's a really significant achievement. And it's going to be the culmination of a lot of hard work on a lot of people. But it'll be a great day for ConocoPhillips and for Beckham.